What's up guys, welcome back to the Bonjour's channel. We are gonna do a short, sweet, and simple video because we had multiple requests on how to take out the Duna Carsi insert, wash it, and importantly, how to put it back in. So that is what we're gonna cover in today's video. If you watched our Duna 10 hacks video, then in that video, we covered how to take it out but I'm gonna show you again because we wanna put it all in one video together. So first things first, come check out how dirty and gross this is. That's what prompted us to do this video because the baby had applesauce in this. Let's start here by taking these little guys off. And these can go in the washer as well. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this together and loosen the whole piece here. Can unbuckle it again. I'm gonna turn this around. And we're gonna loosen this off of the metal piece here. Okay, let's go back around. So we can go ahead and pull this out and just let them hang there. Wipe them down with a cloth. Um, the next step is we're gonna move this visor out of the way. Um, if you wanna take it all the way off, you can use a screwdriver and take it all the way off. We're just gonna move it out of the way by popping these little clips and just letting it hang there. Now let's flip this back over and I'm gonna take off these little straps here. It's just an elastic you pull down and release, pull down and release, pull down and release. Now let's go to the front here. And I'm gonna just take this whole piece and just kind of fold it down. We're gonna work our way down. Move this out of the way. We're gonna work our way down here. And it has little clips that I'm popping out as I go. I'm gonna come around this curve here and just untuck it. Now when you come to this corner spot, you have to give it a little bit of muscle when you're taking it out because it is wedged in there nicely. Then there's a little snap right at the base there. So just pull that out. So from here, there's gonna be one more little clip on the bottom and you're gonna wanna snap that. It feels like you're gonna break it, but just give it some muscle, it'll pop out. And then we're gonna work our way around this little insert here. Pull out the seat belt. And again here, we're gonna pull out the seat belt. Oh, this thing is so gross. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it smells like applesauce. <laughs> Ta-da! So that is how you get it out. Now we're gonna put it in the wash. There's instructions here on how to do it. So I'm gonna put this in the washer and then later we'll show you how to put it back in. All right, so I have the insert out of the washer and now I'm just using a baby wipe to clean like the seat belt and these little plastic areas here that are dirty. You can use like a damp cloth or whatever works for you. Um, I had some baby wipes handy, so that's what I'm using to wipe this down. All right, so I just quickly wiped down the straps and now this is pretty much dry. It cleaned pretty well in the wash, except for here in the seam, you can see there's a little bit of, you know, stray um, lanas and little pieces of stuff that kind of got stuck there. So it did overall really well though. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so we are gonna put the straps back through as the first step, because that was the last step on taking it off. And this is also a good time to do a belt adjustment. If your little one has grown, you can quickly throw it in the wash and then when you reassemble it, just make it in the higher setting. Okay, so I've got this in here kind of loosely. 
And I'm gonna start with pulling this little buckle through. And then I'm gonna take this, it's kind of a little bit stretchy, and I'm gonna tuck it in around this piece here. And when you put it in, you'll kind of wedge it, kind of like putting on a sheet, kind of wedge it around. And then that last part is a little bit hard to get in, but I got it. And it, it's nice all the way around except here, so I'm just gonna kind of use my nail or a butter knife or something just to kind of get it in. So you see it fits all the way around just like how I took it out. Then I'm gonna take this bottom piece and we're gonna clip it in, clip it back in and give it just a little bit of, little bit of muscle till you hear that click and that's nice and snug on there. Then just the process of taking it off, I'm gonna take these two edges and kind of wrap it around. And remember there's a clip that is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip that in and just tuck this nice, nice and firmly all along the edges and just make it look nice and plush. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on this side here. Snap it in and tuck this and if you see, this is kind of like a rough edge, but you don't notice it because it tucks into the plastic here and just gives it that nice, nice appearance because it goes underneath the plastic lip there. So I've got this tucked in up to here. Now I'm gonna feed this under the lip here. And then there's these two little plastic pieces. They're gonna kind of snap into the side there. Same thing on this side. And I'm just gonna snap it in there. And the first time I had put this back together, um, I didn't tuck in all the plat all of the fabric as well. And so that's one thing to pay pay attention to is making sure you're getting it tucked in nicely. There's another clip here towards the top. Push that in. All right, now we are at the top. I'm gonna move this little part forward. So these are gonna feed through to the other side. And just like when we took it off, we're gonna clip them back on. And it's actually kind of easier putting it back on than taking it off, I would say. <laughs> At least in my experience. And I'm just gonna make sure that I tuck in the fabric here all the way around. All right. So that is the gist of it. I think it looks pretty great. And now I'm gonna take the seat belt and feed it through. Baby's now at the highest level here. And he is almost 14 months and we're still getting good use out of this. So I'm gonna take this and feed it back through these little hooks, just like when you took it off. Just wanna make sure it goes all the way over. <laughs> there we go. That side went in much smoother. <laughs> So let me go ahead and just buckle this in. So this little piece you're gonna bring through again here. And last step, we're gonna put this visor back on. 
So it just has these little plastic pieces and it looks like three holes here. I'm gonna line it up and push. Line it up and push. And the last one, line it up and push. And we are back in business. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, we had several people that asked that we do this video just to show the process of washing it and how hard it is. Um, it looks kind of complicated, but it's actually easier than I anticipated the first time that I did it. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Also, we are doing a Duna giveaway, which is set to end in just a few days on April 4th, 2020. So please, if you haven't entered, make sure that you enter in for a chance to win a brand new Duna car seat stroller. Um, I'll leave the links below in the description. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you all. We love and appreciate you. Stay safe and God bless.